Good morning, YouTube. Oh my God, I'm not awake. It is currently 8.02 and it is Friday, July 20th. We're here in Dallas, Texas at my apartment. I'm about to head to work, but first things first, I figured today I'd give you what you all asked for and that's a full day of eating. So we're gonna give you a full day of eating today. I hope you like it, I hope you enjoy. Guys, I wanna stop right now and go ahead and say, make sure you like this video, make sure you share this video. Make sure you drop a comment down below. We're trying to reach more people and the only way that YouTube allows us to reach more people is through those likes. So trying to hit as many likes as possible. Um, if you have any negative feedback or positive feedback, please drop it down in the comment section below. All right, moving on. So first meal of the day is eggs, cod, oats, and orange. So that's my first meal of the day. We're gonna get started and show you what that looks like. We've got 75 grams of oats. That is just some cinnamon that I put on top of it. And then I have a big old jar of stevia that I put in there as well. So cinnamon, stevia, and just regular oats. 77 grams of oats. And then I usually just get some hot water. All right, so I wasn't really ready, wasn't really prepared, but here we go. We've got our pasture-raised eggs. We're gonna use three whole eggs right now. So three whole eggs. Gonna crack those up, throw them in there. We've got our oats as well as, so we've got some cod. Um, we need 75 grams of cod, so we can go ahead and weigh that out. There we go. 75 grams, but yeah, three whole eggs. All I'm gonna do is add a little bit of pepper to it. And we're gonna mix those up. Perfect. All right, and that's it. Meal number one, 77 grams of oats, three whole eggs, 75 grams of cod, and I'm gonna get one of these oranges over here and cut this bad boy up. I get half of an orange with this meal. So that's my first meal. Um, on top of that, I am gonna have a greens shake. So I have my amazing greens right here. Um, I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna throw some creatine in there, and I'm gonna throw a little bit of maca powder all in there. Mix that up and drink that with meal one. That's it. Another thing I usually do with my first meal of the day is I usually eat it on the way to work. So I just bring it with me. I eat it on my way um, when I drive to ProSups because that's where I work. So yeah, just about to eat this meal on my way and we will get to meal number two next. All right, so we're here at my work. We're doing meal number two. It is currently 12 o'clock, it's about my lunch time. I just got some work done on my guy, CJ, and um, we're here right now, I'm about to get this meal in. So, this is the meal two. It is going to be 150 grams, 58 grams of ground beef. It's going to be 200 grams of sweet potato. We've got 15 grams of sauerkraut, and we've got 83 grams of pineapple. So that is meal number two. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper, a little bit of my Celtic salt, and I'm gonna take one of these pills, digestive enzyme formulas, um, before I eat this. So that is meal number two. Um, kind of you know, yummy, kind of not, but this is actually one of my most enjoyable meals um, that I eat into throughout the entire day. I really love pineapple so much. It, it, it's, it's helping with that, like, that sweet, sweet crave that I have. And for anybody that wants to know, a pineapples are actually really good for your digestive health. They're high in leucine, which is a natural BCA. And they're also um, a really good for helping your body with protein synthesis. So meaning allowing your body to absorb the protein that you're actually eating and taking in. So really, really love that but I just love pineapple in general because it's so fucking good when you have no sweet stuff on your meal plan. So yeah, about to enjoy this. I usually just mix it up into like a little mash and just eat it on up. So real quick, I just thought about it and I imagine that most of you have no idea why I would be eating sauerkraut, but sauerkraut is another good thing for your digestion and health. Um, really helps you absorb all the nutrients that's in your food and everything like that. So I eat this first. It is awful though, and I absolutely hate it. Yeah, let's see how this goes.
Ugh. Listen, I know there's got to be a better way to do this and a better way to eat sauerkraut. So if y'all got any suggestions, please drop them down below. God help me. But we've got our slop for meal two. See the pepper, salt, ground beef, sweet potato, pineapples, and a little Tim the Tap Man on lunch. Catch you on our next meal. All right, so we're back. We're back here at the house. Um, I got home not too long ago, uh, so I decided just to eat my meal right before I'm about to go to the gym. It's about 4.30, 4.45 here, and um, I'm gonna be eating my meal three, my pre-workout meal. So my pre-workout meal right now is we have 175 grams of chicken. Sorry, I fogged up the screen. But 175 grams of chicken. All I use is this seasoning right here salt free and then I just add some salt we are also going to be doing cream of rice um, so my cream of rice goes in there I've already weighed this out and measured it I usually take it to work with me in this container and just eat it from work but there it is all that's in there is my cream of rice so my cream of rice this is the cream of rice that I eat that's in there as well as cinnamon and in this white thing, I have stevia. So we have 175 grams of chicken. We have 64 grams of cream of rice. We have 100, or we have 87, my bad, not 100, 87 grams of orange. And then we have three tablespoons. No, God, I'm so off. A tablespoon and a half of cocoa nibs. And I'm not gonna lie, I I'm still to this day don't really understand the sole benefit of these. But I take them because they're on my plan. And that is my pre-workout meal. It's like 60 grams of carbs, it's like 40 grams of protein, and something like that. It's not a lot, but it's a, my pre-workout meal. So we're about to get that in, get that down, and then head to the gym and get this workout in. I'll show you my post-workout meal next. All right, so we're here for meal number four. Um, basically, this meal is just for quick digestion. You wanna get this in uh, mostly like an hour to an hour and a half right after your workout. The reason people really say that you should get it in is just because you know that's the time that you're gonna probably digest it the most, but I have been told and I believe that waiting a little bit to eat that meal is gonna actually increase your uh, sensitivity to the digestion of that meal. So. I'm eating my meal, it's late, it's about 10 o'clock, so you can believe it's a lot later. This meal though is just simple. It's just chicken, rice, and pineapples. This meal is not hard at all. Um, we've, got a, we've got 170 grams of chicken, we've got 156 grams of rice, and we've got 83 grams of pineapple. So I'm actually gonna cook that on the skillet, I'm gonna weigh that out, put it on the skillet, and then, yeah. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's weighed out. So there's your 156 grams of rice with 170 grams of chicken. Now, I'm gonna throw that on the skillet because I like it to be a little bit uh, crispy and it gives it a little bit of flavor, but just salt, pepper, and goes down real nice. We've got our 83 grams of pineapple, and we've got our chicken on the skillet, and there you have it. cooked, simple enough, nothing complicated, pineapples, and I forgot to mention I did add a little bit of coconut aminos, I'm probably going to cut this out next week, but I just, ugh, there's a little bit left in the bottle, so I'll probably use the last little bit, but this is an alternative to soy, um, and it's really great, it's only got a little bit of stuff in it, that one gram of carb, but yeah. So, that is meal number four. That's my post-workout meal. I'm gonna smash it. It'll probably take me literally two seconds to eat it. Absolutely no time at all, because I'm starving. I've been starving all day. My metabolism is ramping up, um, but I'm feeling good still. I'm still feeling positive. I do feel a little cranky here and there, but for the most part, I'm still able to laugh and have a good time. So um, I will catch you on meal number five, which is gonna be my last meal of the night. So, all right, we're back. So this is meal five. This is my one of my last meals. This is my last meal, basically. The last the meal six, quote unquote, is just a cup, half a cup of bone broth, which I'll show you in a second. But this is meal five, last meal of the night, big meal, um, and it's kind of a good one. It is salmon and rice.
Woo. Don't forget my trusty dusty avocado. So we're gonna have salmon, avocado, and rice with our bone broth. So that's gonna be my fifth and last meal of the evening. I'll kind of show you what those weigh out to be and uh, what that looks like. All right, so we get 125 grams of rice. That's what coach calls for, so that's what we do. And then next up we have the salmon. And simple as that, 140 grams of salmon. So 140 grams of salmon, 125 grams of rice. I didn't tell y'all, but that is jasmine rice, um, just FYI. And we are going to heat that up in the skillet again. And I'll show you the avocado, of course, that I'm gonna add afterwards. And uh, I kind of chop it up before I throw it in the skillet. But one thing I wanted to let y'all know was the seasonings that I'm using. So I am used um, lemon pepper, salt-free, Mrs. Dash seasoning on my salmon. Just because I think that lemony flavor adds a lot and it, it just tastes so much better that way. Lemons just in general with I think fish are just the way to go. I think everybody knows that. But yeah, so we're gonna heat that up real quick. So nice and steamy. Woo, sheesh. Uh, again, I just added some of those coconut aminos onto this because like I said, until this is gone, I'm gonna take full advantage of it. Probably last with me like two more days. Dang, I banged that pretty hard. But yeah. So uh, throw a little bit of Celtic salt on top of that, and yes, avocado next. All right, and then 75 grams of avocado. My scale is tripping, it's been bouncing up and down, but it said 75 when I stopped, so 75, and look, see it's going down again. I don't really know, tripping. But 75 grams, regardless. That is meal number five, and then we have half a cup of bone broth with that, but that is meal number five, and that is all of my meals for today. I think it's really cool, just to say this on the side note, just, I, I really struggled eating all five meals, six meals, and granted I am in a deficit right now, so I'm hungry all the time, things like that, but it's really cool just to mentally know, like, hey, you know, you're eating all your meals, and by eating all your meals, you're doing what you need to do to be successful. You know, it's something I always talk about, is just, you've gotta do the things that are gonna make you the most successful, and this is literally step number one. It's your diet and your nutrition. So make sure that you're out there really focusing on trying to be consistent. It's not about, oh, do I have this? Do I have that? Am I using this topping or using this meat or this carb source? You know, it's not about that. It's about the consistency of using these foods to benefit us um, from a macronutrient level. So try and learn your macros, try and figure those out. As far as it goes for me, that's a wrap. It's like 12 o'clock at night. I'm ready to go to bed. I'm about to smash this meal. And then I'm gonna go to bed. I appreciate every single one of you that watched this video. I know that people have asked me to do a full day of eating video. So I gave it to you. I try and give the people what they want, you know. I'm a people pleaser. But if you would, do me a huge favor right now, please, from the bottom of my heart, Go drop a like on this video. It helps build the page, it helps grow the page, helps more people see us, and it helps boost the little algorithm that YouTube has. So, uh, and I don't, I don't wanna explain any more because it's just jibber jabber, but like the video, drop a comment down of what you wanna see next time, or drop a comment of some recipes, some things I need to change up in my diet, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a chef and I eat pretty, pretty boring. So thank you so much again, guys. I appreciate every single one of you for watching it. I'm glad you tuned in. Till next time, catch you later.